The second half of 2017 has been awash with cheap bezel-less phones since the Xiaomi Mi Mix arrived on the scene a year ago. One of the more interesting bezel-less phones, at least on paper, is the Elephone S8. Is it worth £180 to $240? Let's find out. The back of the Elephone S8 is made of 3D curved glass. This gives it a nice reflection at different angles and grips nicely in the hand. But boy does it attract fingerprints. The aluminium frame is reassuringly solid at 195 grams. A nice touch is the textured metal finish on the power button to distinguish itself from the volume button above it on the right. On the left is the SIM tray for two nano SIMs. Unfortunately, no microSD expansion is available on the S8. On this model, 64GB of internal storage is provided. The bottom of the phone houses the USB Type-C port and a single speaker. Elephone have provided a 3.5mm port adapter as no headphone socket is present. The ubiquitous fingerprint scanner is housed on the home button and worked perfectly during our testing. There are no side buttons, instead everything is controlled by the home button. Single tap takes you back while a double tap takes you back to the main home screen. Holding your finger on the button opens the multitasking app menu. It takes a bit of time to get used to this but after a while it becomes intuitive. You can of course enable on screen navigation bar via the settings menu. Out of the box the huge 6 inch 2K resolution screen hits you with its bezel-less frame. No guesses this is the star of the show. Hats off to Elephone in sourcing a pin-sharp, vibrant colour display covered in Gorilla Glass 4. The sharp-made screen is a joy to use with media consumption like YouTube or gaming. The panel boasts a 92% screen-to-body ratio, giving you a generous amount of screen real estate. The 2K screen shows how far Senjian budget manufacturers have come in making phones with such an impressive display wrapped around a thin, bezel-less frame. A DecaCore Helio X25 is at the heart of the Elephone S8. Along with 4GB of LPDDR3 RAM, performance is smooth while running the phone on a daily basis. The S8 scored on Geekbench respectable numbers on par with 2016 flagships like the Samsung S7. Don't mistake the X25 with the majority of budget phones that use the MediaTek P25 instead. This chip is more powerful than the P-series chips. The S8 handled watching YouTube on 2K or a spot on mobile gaming on the massive display with ease. However, the S8 can get quite hot during intense gaming, especially after an hour or two. Take a look at how it performed on some of the games. The Elephone S8 has a single 21 megapixel Sony lens at the back that goes against the grain of dual camera phones on the market. There is a slight pause with focusing on a subject, which can be annoying when you want to snap a quick shot. With good lighting conditions, the camera can take some decent shots. Night shots have a tendency to be grainy and soft. It's not going to win awards compared to flagship phones like the LG V30 or iPhone X, but what do you expect from a budget price phone? The camera app is basic and simple to use. Video recording goes all the way up to 4K, but there is no OIS to keep the clips from shaking. It's fuzzy and low light, and even during the day, footage is average at best. The front-facing 8 megapixel camera is okay for selfies. Unless you flip the camera upside down, you'll end up taking shots of your chin or part of your finger as you press the shutter button. There's a front LED light with three levels of brightness to enhance your selfies in darker surroundings. Video is limited to 480p. The Elephone S8 runs a clean version of Android 7.1 with minimum UI bloatware. Nowadays you can install the Google Now or Microsoft launchers from the Play Store if you want more functionality. The S8 has a feature called DuraSpeed which boosts performance by restricting background application activity gesture-based controls to take screenshots and start the camera. Videos can be enhanced by configuring clear motion that stops video judder. 
It's nice to see Elephone released a couple of updates during testing. Hopefully Android Oreo will be released in the near future. With all budget smartphones, NFC is not available on the Elephone S8. Shame as a growing number of people use Android Pay. Connectivity is covered with Bluetooth 4, wireless 802.11ac and a USB Type-C port for charging and data transfer. Audio is covered by either using Bluetooth headphones or the supplied adapter if you wish to use a cable to your earbuds instead. The bottom firing single speaker uses NXP audio amplifier to boost the sound for things like music, movies and more. At high volume there is a lot of distortion so stick to headphones instead. Elephone have included a large 4000 milliamp battery to go with the 2K display. In real world usage the battery easily lasted a day. Despite the fast Helio X25 chip and the massive 6 inch panel, the S8 is a phone you could carry throughout the day and not have to worry about it dying on you. Fast charging built in takes the S8 from zero to fully charge in one and a half hours. The Elephone S8 is very good value for money. It has an excellent 6 inch bezel-less display backed by a quad HD resolution making media consumption work and gaming a joy. The big battery of quick charging keeps you juiced up all day and the near clean Android 7.1 experience is a bonus. The Helio X25 chip gives you pretty good performance to handle most things that you can throw at it. The Elephone engineers have done a great job to give the S8 a premium look and feel that stands out in this crowded market. Of course at this price range there are some compromises. No micro SD support, NFC or headphone jack. The camera quality and functionality is disappointing and lacking from the S8. When using this phone for extended periods you notice the weight and width in your hand. As budget bezel-less phones go, the Elephone S8 has a superior screen and performance alongside an all-day battery. For £180 it's a bargain. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Elephone S8 phone. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.